We're on our way to um, on our way to see if we can find Herschel Gordon Lewis. Maybe we can ask him something. I think I've spotted him. He looks like he's sorry. Uh, excuse me. Uh, oh, there's Herschel Gordon Lewis. Oh, what's he got? What's he doing? He's he's obviously made lots of money here at Scream Fest. Oh yeah, this is a big profit center, Lloyd. Mr. Lewis, um, have you got some uh, interesting advice or uninteresting for the young students? It will be my great pleasure to deliver some platitudes to the young students who want to make their own movies. The advice I would give, Lloyd, to young movie makers is advice they probably don't want to hear. My advice is to let their egos stay home. When people make movies for themselves, invariably they exclude the public. And I have always regarded the movie business as a, an entertainment business, not as a means of personal expression in which you expect people to pay to watch you show up. What the young filmmaker should understand is that the difference between a personal statement and a personal approach is the difference between trying to editorialize and trying to entertain. Look at every scene, look at every shot, look at every concept with the question, will this entertain the people out there? The biggest mistake I ever made was in the first movie I ever made, which was in letting other people determine what should be shot. How did you decide to take a risk on the extreme gore? I took a risk because the question in my mind was what kind of motion picture might there be that the major companies either would not make or could not make, but the theaters would play. And that's a very narrow gauge in there. So. I took a chance, yes. I admit to you, I took a chance. And instead of making a personal statement, what I did was gamble. I gambled with as little money as I possibly could that still would make a commercial movie. Which but, film is this? Uh, Blood Feast, yes. the, the, first, the, the first splatter film, which we, of course, and we call it Gore Movie. And it was, I admit to you that I had no idea whether that film would be a commercial success, would be something they'd only show at midnight on Halloween, or whether, certainly, as history has said, it would start a movement over which I personally have no control anymore. So I loosed a monster, a golem, a, a, a Frankenstein uh, creation upon the motion picture world. Say to yourself, what can I film, whether digitally or on film, that will cause some distributor who is the key to the movie appearing in the first place, to say, yes, I want to handle that because, and the second half of that sentence, whatever follows that because, should have a commercial overtone to it. I know that sounds brutal. I know that sounds hard-boiled, but it's a brutal and hard-boiled business. Don't follow any academic concept. That's, I know, it's not what you will hear in the film schools, but it's what you will hear from a film distributor. Thank you, Mr. Herschel Gordon Lewis. You are now part of the Make Your Own Damn Movie DVD box set. I am now immortalized, and I thank you.